They're off. All coming away to a good start. And welcome to another edition of Mammoth Racing Today. I'm your host, Mike Kersey. Well, American Pharoah, the Triple Crown champion, went on to win the $1.75 million Haskell in impressive fashion. Let's take a look back. Into the far turn. Competitive edge has been there every step of the way. American Pharoah is a length behind second. And upstart, these three are dominating as Keen Ice begins to make his move. American Pharaoh comes looking for the lead at the quarter pole, and he quickly puts away competitive edge. Upstart on the outside third, then it's Keen Ice and top clearance there at the top of the stretch, and America's horse has opened up. It's American Pharaoh with that majestic stride, pouring it on through the stretch. Keen Ice runs into second. American Fair, the party continues as he rolls home in the Haskell. Here on Mammoth Racing today, Ahmed Zayed alongside American Farrell, simply sensational once again. How concerned were you coming into the race after the Triple Crown, a little bit of time off, and again, having to start all over again? I wasn't concerned coming in if he is fit or if he's doing well. That we know. We would have never brought him if not. Nevertheless, I did not want to disappoint the fans. I want him to put a show. I want him for the horse and for the fans, for himself. He deserved that. And he showed that he's a cut above. So I was nervous for him. But he, I was not... I knew that he's going to run well because the way he had been training, carrying his weight, his condition, everything was pointing. He was a little bit on edge, and I can tell that. And for me, I just wanted to make sure that when he relaxes and he's happy, nobody can get to him. Being from New Jersey, how special was it for this horse to win here? How, how important was it for you to race him here at Mammoth? It was really sweet. We've been fortunate before to win the Haskell. It was another very close horse to my heart, pen, Painter. So we had a wonderful experience. The people here, the management, have done a phenomenal. Robert and Dennis have an unbelievable job of hosting us, of making us feel wanted. The state, the governor, everybody. It was, it, it's a, such a fun place to come here, and I really wanted the fans to enjoy. And everybody from the fans walking around, you wanted a fest, you wanted us to party, we are partying. We're so happy. We are we, really people are having a great time. So it was very important for me. What was it like watching this horse in the Triple Crown, the Derby, the Preakness, and then the Belmont? Was there a calmness going into the Belmont, saying if this happens, this is happen, you know, this is fine. If if not, we can live with it. Or what, what were the thoughts? Mike, I'll tell you honestly. For the Derby, we wanted so badly because we've run three times second, three times, and one of other uh, other horse, Iskenderia, who was. The presumably favored was scratched the week of the Derby, so if we felt the kind of the promised land that we've never been there. Um, so we wanted it so much for the Zayats, for Bob again. Um, once we actually won that, we were much more enjoying it and relaxing, like kind of the monkey off the back. And the Preakness was about validating that the horse it wasn't a fluke. So I wanted it for the horse. The Belmont, I wanted for the history. I wanted for the star that had been waiting 37 years for a special animal. You know, it had been so long. People have lost faith, said that it will never happen. And for us to bring up hope, and he became the horse of America. And we opened our barn for everybody. And the buzz and the connection that people from athlete to star to older people to younger people to people in Europe to people all over the world uh, it had been an absolute uh, blessing it's a privilege and honor for me to own him so to come today after attaining and having a triple crown everybody saying are you crazy you know what kind of value you have you're destroying but for me it's not only the money and I stress only of course it's a business but it is important to keep star running as long as they are fit, healthy, and happy. And I wanted to show, and it's a huge risk that we took, but I guess we were rewarded. Is the ultimate goal, Mr. Zayed, the Breeders' Cup Classic? 
the ultimate goal is, uh, is to continue to run this cult at his best performance, whatever that might take us. I just want him not to disappoint and to keep the fans and the star proud of his performance. 60,900 fans here, a record at Monmouth Park. Tell me, if you will, what that means to you to see the crowd cheering American Pharaoh, the home crowd, the Jersey crowd. All week leading to uh, this particular week, the fans from the street, you go around you, just the bakery, the grocery, posters of him, everybody's talking, we have to go and see him. I mean, to have a regular work workout in the morning, 5,000 people showing, that's more than most race tracks get uh, <laughs> in a race day. So he had this unbelievable uh, star um, affection with the fans and to have the house packed today and people having fun and enjoying and cheating and he didn't disappoint and he went in hand totally under wrap um, was absolute thrill. Mrs. Zayed, thank you so much for bringing him to Monmouth Park and uh, it's a day that uh, no one here in New Jersey will ever forget. Thank you very much. My pleasure and thank you for your hospitality. More coming up on Monmouth Racing today. Monmouth Park's got the sand, tasty food, plus plenty for the kids to do. And of course, there's always great racing. Vacation for a day at Monmouth Park. Alongside the president of Monmouth Park, Bob Kalina. And Bob, you have been here for a number of years. You've seen great horses here. What about American Pharaoh and this performance? I don't think I've ever seen a good horse win as easy as, as American Pharaoh. It was just incredible. I mean, if the jock ever just let him run, he would have won by 20 and shattered the track record. It was an incredible race. It was just an awesome performance. Over 60,000 here at Monmouth, a record-breaking day. What does that mean to the state? What does that mean to Monmouth Park? Well, for all the naysayers, our game's long from being dead. Um, we bring a lot of industry, uh, business to the state. I hope we uh, appreciate it, and I hope we get the necessary relief down the road that we need to make this game even better. Bob Baffert, Ahmed Zayed, Class Axe, they bring this horse to Monmouth Park, and Baffert obviously has had a tremendous amount of success. Now eight, a record eight, uh, and he just keeps rolling right along here. But uh, your relationship with him, certainly uh, a special one. Yeah, Bob's a great guy. You know, we, we, we kid with each other. You know, we respect each other. You know, obviously what he's done here in the Haskell is hard to even comprehend. And he's just, he's good people. Him, his wife, his sons, uh, it, they're a pleasure to deal with. He tells me yes, no, and there's no games, and that's, that's the way it should be. Alongside Joe Asher, the president of William Hill USA, the sponsor of this tremendous race, and, of course, uh, the William Hill Haskell going to American Pharaoh. You watch this race closely, like 60,900 others did here at Monmouth Park. What were your thoughts? Well, it was just an amazing day and an amazing performance by American Pharaoh. And I'll tell you, right before the race started, I looked out from the winner's circle back towards the crowd, and it was just an unbelievable sea of humanity. I pointed it out to Governor Christie and to Dennis Drazen, uh, who have worked so, uh, Dennis has worked so hard to put this uh, event on. And it was just a sight to behold. And, of course, the horse showed up, and he did not disappoint. I mean, he had his A++++ game today. He won just so uh, so much in hand and eased up. And it's just a brilliant performance to cap off a brilliant day. What does it mean for William Hill to be a part of this historic event here in New Jersey? Oh, we're, we're just incredibly proud. We're proud just generally of our partnership with Monmouth Park. It's really been uh, a terrific uh, relationship, and we couldn't be happier with it. But then to get this day is just, uh, it's beyond the icing on the cake. Uh, it, it's just a, such a thrill to be here. Uh, you know, a massive uh, national audience tuning in to watch this horse. The buzz, the local press over the last several days leading into the race has been something that I've never seen before. And, you know, I, I've been a horse racing fan all my life. I have very distinct memories of uh, going to Delaware Park in 1979 to see Spectacular Bid in his first race after losing the Belmont. Bill Shoemaker came in from California to ride him, and, uh, and, and he won very easily that day. And so to be here with my children, when American Pharaoh made his first race after winning the Triple Crown, it was something that's just incredibly special and something I'll always cherish. Joe, thanks so much. Great to see you here once again at Monmouth Park.
thank you. Look forward to being here again next year. Monmouth Park's got the sand, tasty food, plus plenty for the kids to do. And of course, there's always great racing. Vacation for a day at Monmouth Park. As long as he he has to show us that, you know, he's still at that, and you know, he can still, he, as long as he's at the top level, I'll lead him up there. And I, I really, I'll just, I don't care what track or whatever, mud, snow, synthetic, he just runs. He runs on everything. But as long, but it's up to me. So I have a, to me, I have a responsibility to the horse to to make sure. I'm not, I'm not worried about Saratoga or the, the surface or anything like that. I'm, as long as, as as Pharaoh is on top of his game, if that's my main concern. And being that only he can tell me by watching him work and like watching like when Martin works and when I watch him, we know that he's not, he was not going to get on that plane unless I felt really confident about bringing him here. They're at the top of the stretch and America's horse has opened up. It's American Pharaoh with that majestic stride, pouring it on through the stretch. Keen Ice runs into second. American Pharaoh, the party continues as he rolls home in the Haskell. Keen Ice was second, upstart third, competitive edge was fourth.